Hello, my friends. Welcome to another mini message. Today, Thursday, we're going to be talking about John chapter 17 from 1 to 5. Jesus prays for himself. After saying all these things, Jesus looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son so he can give glory back to you. For you have given him authority over everyone. He gives eternal life to each one you have given him. And this is the way to have eternal life, to know you the only true God, and Jesus Christ, the one you sent to earth. I brought glory to you here on earth by completing the work you gave me to do. Now, Father, bring me into the glory we shared before the world began. Amen, amen. Today, mini message, and the next day, and the next day, is going to be uh, pretty much when Jesus prays. It's a long prayer that he prays for himself, for his disciples, and for all of, for all of us that are coming to, to faith. But I break it down in three. So today we're talking about when he prays about himself, right? So because the, the hour was going to come, right? He, he has, Jesus walked in this earth as a human being. He has the same pains, the same needs, the same uh, feelings that you and I have. But he was empowered by the Holy Spirit, right? Showing us how to pray, how to um, endurance in, in, in the hard times, right? So he says, uh, The Father, the hour has come, right? That he was going to be uh, uh, incarcerated. He was going to be taken, you know, to be crucified, to be killed, right? And he says, uh, glorify, uh, glorify your son, right? So, uh, so your son can glorify you, glorify your name, <coughs> you know? Dying, doing your will, right? It's for you and I. We need to die to this world doing God's will. When we leave this earth, we need to leave the earth doing God's will. We die in Christ, right? So that's how Jesus teaches us, right? We need to be like Jesus. And, uh, and he says, uh, can you repeat number two, please? Mm -hmm. For you've given him authority over everyone. He gives eternal life to each one you have given him. Yeah, because he said to the Father, you're giving, a, you're giving me the authority to every flesh, right? Every, every people, right? And uh, I, give, I give eternal life to anyone that you has given me. So you and I, that we come to the Word of God, life, eternal life is in the Word of God, it's in Jesus. When we come to Him, He gives us eternal life, right? And uh, can you repeat number three now? Uh, and this is the way to have eternal life, to know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, the one you, you sent to earth. Right. This is very, let's go deep in this one. This is, this, is, this is it. This is what you and I are looking for, eternal life, right? We don't want to go to hell. We want to go to the presence of God. How do we get that eternal life? You ready? Your answer is simple is here. How beautiful it is when you read the whole Bible. It says, to get to know you. We need, we need to get to know God, the Father, the only true God. How do we know? How do we get to know Him? Reading the Bible. It says, the, the, uh, the eternal life is getting to know you, the true and only God, in Jesus Christ his, Himself, to the one you have sent. Right? We need to get to know the Word of God. The Father sent the Word of God that become a flesh, sent Jesus. So we need to go, we need to get to know Jesus. By knowing Jesus, we know the Father. By seeing Jesus, we see the Father as He, as he is, is teaching us, right? So eternal life is when you come to the Word of God. You get to know God because the Word of God is God. The whole Bible is God. It's God is in here. We need to get to know Him. That's how you get eternal life. You don't read your Bible, you think you're going to get eternal life. It says you need to get to know God. God is not only one page or certain pages. God is a whole Bible. Right? Amen. And he says, uh, uh, yeah. And um, can you repeat number five, please? Now, Father, bring me into the glory we shared before the world began. Yeah. Because he is sick. He's, he's, a, uh, he's God, right? In the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. Right? Amen. You want something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jesus left us an incredible example when he was praying here. When he starts out saying, glorify your son so he can give glory back to you. You know, many, I think almost everybody has probably prayed for some kind of success, right? Oh, God, please help this thing work. Or, you know, maybe a couple's trying to have a baby. I mean, there's lots of wonderful, beautiful things that God blesses us with on this earth to be able to create and to do and to be a part of. And many times praying over those things is a part of that. But when Jesus says, 
give glorify your son so he can give glory back to you that for me just really stood off the page to me it, it gives us direction and purpose of anything that we are doing especially what we're called to do whether it's ministry or not ministry it might be business or in our families we can ask for God to glorify us so that we can bring glory to him because that ultimately is what our lives should do they should glorify God the Father people should be able to look at us and um, and know that there's something different like wow that you know that is a that is a business uh, owner for Jesus, you know, a realtor or, um, you know, a chef or whatever it is, you know, a professional soccer player. And they're always pointing people to their Lord, you know, that that person has a strong faith. And so in our prayers, let's remember to pray like Jesus prayed, you know, glorify us so that we can bring glory back to you. And of course, we can't do it perfectly like Jesus did. Jesus was a perfect reflection of the Father. We, he didn't have, he had no uh, limits on him when it came to um, not, not sinning. We sin. We have, we have limits to what we can do, but he was fully God, fully man, and able to conquer sin because he, he never sinned. But we do. So we're not going to glorify him perfectly, but we can do our best through the Holy Spirit. And it can start with just simply as a prayer, asking God to glorify us so that we can glor bring glory to him. What a beautiful prayer that I believe God will honor. Amen. God bless you, my friends. Bye. Bye.